The best part about knitting is that you can use so many fun yarns, including big fluffy fibers or yarn with interesting bobbles or texture, but these cool yarns aren't always the easiest to thread through a needle when you're ready to weave your ends in. I have a simple shortcut that will take all the frustration out of threading your yarn needle with even the trickiest yarns. Hi, I'm Hannah from Knitting.com, and today we're going to learn how to use a slip of paper to easily thread a yarn needle with your project yarn. If you're ready, let's get started. So when you're working with uh, yarn, you're going to be wanting to weave your ends in or otherwise, you know, thread, thread yarn through itself. And the best way to do it is to get a needle, like a darning needle or a yarn needle, which are the most common terms for it, with a big eye or an eye big enough for your yarn. So if you're using thin yarn, you can use a smaller eye in your needle. But in this case, this is pretty chunky yarn, so we need a big needle. The other thing is that sometimes you have super textured yarn or it's fluffy or it's kind of come apart at the end, which makes it hard to thread through. There is a quick little tip, a secret tip that I like to use for bulky yarns or textured yarns to get them through your yarn needle nice and tidily so it doesn't shred as it goes. All right, so what you'll need is a tiny piece of paper that you've cut. You can use printer paper, you could use a receipt. It doesn't really matter, it just needs to be smooth. And I've cut this one to the same height as the needle eye. So it'll go right through just fine. That's the thing you need to think about. And it may be an inch and a half, an inch, it doesn't need to be very long. What you do is you fold that in half, then you put your yarn into it, sandwich it between the two pieces of paper, and that creates a nice smooth surface to thread through your needle. Makes it super quick and easy. Ta-da! Now you don't have to wrestle that yarn all the way through the needle eye. It's nice and tidy, already done, super quick. You can make it with any paper. And that was how to thread a yarn needle. You can use the same method with a basic yarn to make the process easier or save it for those particularly tricky strands. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to click the thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Subscribe to knitting.com if you'd like to stay in the loop and check out our other social media channels. Thanks for watching. Until the next one, happy knitting.